this is Amanda from Albany Mountain. Today we're planting some strawberries and I just wanted to show you real quick how even if you have land that isn't developed, that isn't suited for farming, but you want to plant on a low cost budget, I am enriching my soil just where I'm putting the plant in which is right here in this little mound I'm adding in some potting soil that has fertilizer in it and it's ready to go and this is why I wanted to show gardening on a very tight budget because a lot of people, they want to amend the soils, they want to add, you know, compost and add wood ash and, you know, lime and all these other chemicals to your soil to get it to a point of being able to grow something. But if you're wanting to start a garden right now, this is what I have learned to do when budget is tight, but you want to get going. And all I've done is get a bag of potting mix. We've uh, burned some leaves here, so the ash is already in. I'm mixing the ash of the leaves and sticks and things into the soil as well. But also, when you're looking at planting, say, strawberries for me today, you cannot plant these below the crown or above the crown. And the root systems are very close to the surface of the ground. But you want to do your best not to put your soil above that crown because it will kill the plant. And if you plant it too low, what ends up happening is something called air pruning, which means the roots die off because they're exposed to air. So now I'm also putting these plants into these mounds so that when it rains, the, the rain can come into this little reservoir and it helps get more water to concentrate it to the plant. Now I'm just going to add a little bit more of the potting mix to the outside. You know, and part of the reason I'm doing it this way is to help us also remember that we planted something here and we're not going to mistake this for a weed and pull it up later, which I have done in the past. This is why I do things this way so it will help me remember what things look like especially when you're new to the gardening and you don't realize the difference between a morning glory vine and a watermelon vine. So this at least helps you remember what you planted and where. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Chat with you next time. Take care. God bless.